Hey, welcome back to my channel. Super excited to share today's recipe with you. One of my all time favorite meals, enchiladas. Who doesn't like Mexican food? I should say who doesn't love Mexican food? Today's recipe is a new one. I've never tried this and it actually calls for white sauce instead of the traditional red sauce. So I've got, of course, all my ingredients already laid out. I've got my chicken breast, cheese, most one of the most important ingredients. And I've broken out this right here, as I've stated before in one of my other recipes, my green chili recipe, which of course you can see that on my channel as well. But I broke out some of these green chilies from Pueblo. That's right, these are world famous right here. I cherish these right here. All right, so anyway, we are gonna use those in today's meal. Basically to get things started, we've gotta get our chicken cooked and shredded. So I'm gonna just, I've got it oven preheating right now. We're gonna take pepper, salt, garlic salt. We're just gonna season these. And yeah, these are still frozen, so didn't have time to thaw them for the video, but I think we're gonna be just fine. All right, now I'll throw some pepper on. Some garlic salt. Yikes, all right, let's crazy. These back over. Throw that pepper on. All right, and our oven is done preheating, so we are ready to throw this in. Let's get some, I guess I don't need those on the mix just yet. All right. Let's set a timer for about 10, 15 minutes. 15 minutes is what I was just gonna say. There we go. All right. So. I will get those cooked and probably shredded. Once I have everything kind of measured out and ready to go, I'll be back to show you how to do the assembly. Of course, for the full recipe, you can always go directly to my website, dance420chronicles.com slash recipes. But until then, I'll be back in just a few minutes to show you how to do this. Chicken is all cooked and shredded. So now it's time to make our sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and change the recipe up just a little bit. The recipe that I was looking at called for actual individual rolled enchiladas. And what we're gonna do is actually make a casserole. And since we're gonna do a casserole, I'm gonna go ahead and double the recipe for the sauce. Now the recipe I'll post on my website will be for the rolled enchiladas. But again, if you wanna do the casserole, just double it. That way you make sure you have enough sauce. So, we're gonna start with our butter. Put that right in our pan. Get this to melt down. Let's see, get our spatula. Pretty excited to see how these come out. Like I mentioned earlier, enchiladas are one of my top foods, favorites. White sauce, I have never tried. So, basically what we are gonna end up doing here is we're gonna get this butter to melt down. And once it is melted down, we'll take our flour and we'll add it in to make a roux. At least that's what I'm told it's called. It's funny because, well, those of you who know me know my mom's name and therefore, I don't know. Anyway, so long story short, we're gonna make a roux out of our butter and our, our flour. If I don't spill it all over the dog who is, of course, laying at my feet, hoping that I will drop something. But he should know me better than that. All right, our butter is almost melted. want it to boil just yet, but I do want to get it completely melted in there. Alright, we'll take our flour. 
flour. on again. So we stopped at some point. All right, so we've got this to our boil. We're going to take it off the heat. No, we are not. We're going to put it right back on the heat. We're going to turn it down though, and then we're going to put our broth in. And I think it called for two cups, so like I said, we are doubling in I'm going to go ahead and put four. Alright, now we want to get this and bring, turn it up, bring it to a boil, right? Get it all mixed up. I think I broke all that flour up inside of there hopefully we don't want no chunks in there all right Turn it just a little bit see if we can't get this to boil after we get that to boil we are going to throw in our sour cream and we're going to do the entire tub so let's get the lid off and then that is when we will also put in our, what did I say earlier? World famous Pueblo green chilies. All right, probably just another minute or so. That thing should start boiling. No, it's not going to take another minute or so. It's going to take a few minutes or so. So, since this is going to take a minute or two, I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and when I come back, we should hopefully be ready to put everything together, assemble everything, right? We're getting there, so hang tight. <laughs> Alright, we are boiling over here. Sauce is thickened up, so I'm going to take it off the heat, move it over here our sour cream Pop that tub in there and our green chilies whoa careful <coughs> make sure we get all of those yeah we're not going to miss any of that oh, I should have probably kept that whisk probably would have made a little more sense than a spatula Get this all mixed together. It smells pretty good. Very, very curious to taste to taste it. Try and get these chunks broken up. It said the important thing was to make sure that the cream cheese or the sour cream didn't curdle on us, so we went in blackout mode, but we're back. It's okay, folks. We did not lose power. But could you imagine being this close to having these things done and then lose power? It is snowing outside. It is our first big snow. Supposedly going to be our first big snow. All right. So good news is we have not lost power and I think this is pretty well mixed together. What do you think? Yeah? I'm getting the thumbs up from behind the camera, which is always good. All right. So our next step is to do uh, the assembly. So I'm going to get all of my stuff ready for that. I've got my pan, I'm going to get my cheese, the chicken, all that stuff out, and then I will be back to show you exactly how I'm going to prepare that casserole. So, not bad, not bad. 
I'll be back in just a second. All right, we are now ready to assemble. I've got my dish here. We're gonna start out with a little bit of sauce on the bottom of our pan. Gonna loop things up down on the bottom there. All right, that should be enough to start. And then we'll get our tortillas, corn tortillas here. Now I could dip these inside of the sauce too, but I think we'll be all right doing it this way. All right. Make sure that we cover that up nice and good. See that, right? Next layer of chicken. Casserole, enchiladas are just a lot simpler to do than the individual roll, though I do like to have individually rolled enchiladas. Typically don't get those unless I'm out of the restaurant, which now with COVID, of course, really haven't gone out to eat very much. All right, basically, that's it. So we did our layer of sauce, tortilla, Sauce, chicken, cheese. And we're gonna just gonna repeat that until we get to the top. Once we do that, we'll line the top with some aluminum foil so the cheese doesn't burn. We'll stick it in the oven, I believe on 375. Don't quote me on that on this video. Make sure to go to my website, dance420chronicles.com slash recipes to find out the specific temperature. And anyway, so let me get this all assembled. No reason to watch me do that on camera. Once I do, before I throw in the oven, I'll be back to show you what it looks like. All right, we have finished our assembly. And there's what it looks like. I think we ended up getting three layers. We were saying that probably could have used a little more chicken. I think we've used three breasts. Probably if I were to do this again, I'd end up using four breasts. And we ended up finding out that we did not necessarily need to double our sauce recipe because, well, we have quite a bit left. But this will be good to pour on top of our enchiladas, our beans, our rice if we want to do that. And then we can also save that for burritos if we want. Anyway, got my oven preheating. I'm going to take just some of this aluminum foil, as I mentioned. We don't want the cheese to burn. Alright. Once my oven has hit its 350 degree temperature, I will go ahead and get this in the oven. I think we're going to let it go for about 20 minutes or so. Uh, really, all we want to do is just kind of heat it all up, get all that cheese in there to melt, so about 20 minutes. And anyway, let me uh, get that in, and I will be back to show you guys what it looks like. All right, that moment we have all been waiting for. At least I know I've been waiting for. It is time to pull this thing out. Time to eat. Alright. Dust off our timer. I could probably let it cook in there for maybe another five minutes, but that cheese looks pretty well melted. Can you see that? Mmm. Can you smell that? Mmm. Alright. <laughs> so. Only thing left to do, obviously, is to cut into this and dig in. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. As always, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Like and leave your comments down below. And for the full recipe, check out my website, dance420chronicles.com slash recipes. And until my next video...